Ho guys, Sujara speaking. Welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number four and four. And Terry Rachel, Jack and the Beanstalk. Look at me, I can read edition. So let's read it down, shall we? So we got for us. It's written by, this is published by Keywords, um, Landlord's Fairy Tales. Here we go. Jack and the Beanstalk. This is copyright 1993, Landlord Worldwide Reserve. Published by Rainbow in Ashland, Ashland, Ohio. See, here is Jack and Rainbow. Here we go. Wow. I've read this. Some of it, you may know, I've read this, some of this in years. I've never read some of the Jack and the Beanstalk as a kid, you know. When I was at Georgetown Metro School in the library. School library, which is pretty neat. When I still read in Miss Graham's class, read by myself type of thing. That was it. Anyway, um, there was one at the window who had a son named called Jack. Okay, makes sense. Anyway, Jack and his mother lived in the cut little cottage with a garden and a front. Okay, they were very poor because Jack would not work. Okay, to buy food from them to eat. The well so so her brooch, her ring, and almost her, everything else she had. Until all that she had left was a one cow. Wow. So poor in fact, even though it makes sense for cows. I felt worried for um for Car for Jack at this point, even though she, he was a she was a poor farmer at this point, you know? That's just me of course. Next page. Anyway, one morning, Jack's mother said, "You must take the cow to market and sell her." Okay. And uh, make sure you get plenty of money for her because she's also she's all we have left. Wow. So Jack tied a rope around the cow's neck. Okay. And sell up the for the, the market. Mm hmm. Makes sense in any way, even though it's a great value about that. And it has to at least do something about this cow. Come on. Next page. Anyway. On the way to the market, Cal met, met a traveler who asked him to went, where, where he was going with the cow. Go to the market, the seller. Replied Jack. The traveler showed Jack some beans. And I and said, I'll give you these magic beans in the exchange of your cow. Wow. Jack could not resist this offer. So he put the beans in his pocket and hurried back home. Wow. I felt worried for this cow at this point. Even though it has, it has to do with magic beans at that point for him. Even though he had to do something about it. Next page. Anyway. Come on, we have to move on to the next page. Or else we're gonna... Man, anyway. When Jack returned home without any money, his mother was, was very angry. Wow. And she threw the beans out the window. Wow. She hit Jack's ears. Wow. And sent him to bed with only a glass of water and this for supper. Wow. I felt worried for Jack at this point. Mm-hmm. When he awoke from the next morning, it was so dark that he could not see out of his bedroom window. Okay. Um, it was the beanstalk, and he had to at least do something about it. It's like, it's like Jack and the Beanstalk in style, man. When I saw bits of it, two, three Jack and the Beanstalk in 19, um, no, 2006 DVD, it just had to make more sense. Anyway. Jack quickly put on his boots. And his clothes. Okay. And ran down the stairs. He could already believe his eyes. When he saw. That um, Morris Beanstalk. Morris Beanstalk. Anyway. Okay. Had grown for the magic beans. As part past his bedroom window. Mm hmm. He began to climb the beanstalk from branch to branch until he reached the top. Mm-hmm. Which makes sense in any way, even though it makes sense. 
even though I climb the beanstalk and go for it. Mm -hmm. Next page. Anyway, in the distance, at the top of the beanstalk was a castle. So Jack walked around the row to it. He knocked on the door with a stick. And then one woman appeared. Please, can, can you call, can, give me something to, to eat? Asked Jack. Yes. Go away. Um, a nasty giant lives here. The woman said. Please, repeated Jack. All right, the woman said. But you must leave quickly. I felt war with this woman. There's, there's no need to have giants inside that. Um, castle, and it's like fee fi fo fum. At least do something about it. Okay, we move on to the next. Ah, uh, my th seriously, the book is about to break. Next page. Anyway, the woman told Jack in the, in the into her kitchen. Anyway, the cow was a saucepan. Already on the stove, so Jack's meal was so quick, quickly prepared. Almost as soon um, as he had finished eating, Jack felt the, the ground began to shake. Hi, quickly! cried the woman. It's a giant. Jack quickly jumped into the trap before just before the giant appeared, carried a hen. Mm hmm. Okay, it kind of reminds me of a heart. Okay, where, um, a Barney friend shot in the Beanstalk episode where he, he played a guitar rather than a harp. So, there you go. Harp in, in the Disney, in the Disney style, but more of a kid, Disney friendly version of that. But this is more okay. I think this book may be having difficulties with me turning the pages. So, there we go. Finally. Okay. Jack watched it. Amazing amazement for the crack in the door. The giant said to the hen lay. The hen lay the golden egg. And again and again the giant repeated his co common command. I mean the rest of it anyway. And it is each time the hen obeyed, his last giant fell asleep. The giant quickly as lightning. Snatched off of the pen and ran on back of the beanstalk. Wow. ACDC reference in the background. Seen here for the lightning bolt. And then. What's next page says this. When Jack reached the bottom of the beanstalk. He fe felt it shake be because the giant was chasing him. Yeez. Jack grabbed an axe and chopped the beanstalk down, and the giant felt it was killed. Okay. Jack and his mother were now rich because the hen kept on laying going eggs. Wow. And they all lived happily ever after. Mm hmm. To make more sense in any way, but no, it's a gray egg. You know? Just to have it make more difference in any way. I've never seen that happen in that. Old book, so there you go. Whoever wrote this book, I want to thank you. Screw my lines, okay. So that was um, Jack and the Beanstalk Book of Me. I can read book edition. What did I think about this book? It was amazing. So far, this book was a success. That was this bedtime stories episode number four and four. Hope you enjoy it. Stay in this next one's gonna be a Christmas theme. Bedtime stories episode from four and five to around I don't know what the numbers are. We're gonna be reading bedtime stories episodes later to Christmas. Okay. Now my excuse me, I gotta get some shy. Oh no, I'm gonna go ahead and um get this project going and get ready for um project time and probably I'm um, not sure if we're going to do a racist jokes episode or not, but we'll figure this out. And then I have to get ready for bed. Because after this is over, I'm getting ready to do some more project time to get ready to upload on YouTube. We'll see what happens. Till next time, so just about some baby. Boo is so, so out. See ya.